Hello, Sagittarius. We're getting ready for your reading. So let's look at the split on the deck. We have Six of Cups, memories of someone from the past. Knight of Swords, somebody rushing in with something to say. All right, so we're going to do three shuffles. Here we go. Another split, a full card, a new beginning again with somebody from the past, maybe. A new beginning can be anything. It could be getting over an argument. It could be not hearing from somebody for a long time. It can be a reunion. Okay, let's see what else we have. Okay, Death Card and Seven of Pentacles. So at some point, somebody decided not to invest. So it does look like a reunion for most of you. But let's see what we have here. Okay. So, Sagittarius in love. What is the mutual energy in the recent past? Mutual energy in the recent past is the Strength card. Strength card. Beautiful energy. The Strength card is all about just the strength of the connection, the heart space. You know, this is Leo energy. It rules the heart organ. So it really speaks to the fact that you're very loyal to each other. You both have a lot of pride, a lot of dignity and you both bring that to the table and you just don't want to be separated. That is always the sign of the infinity symbol. So when we look at the number eight, it is the infinity symbol. And we see a beautiful little girl or beautiful woman with a lion eating out of her hands. Okay. The mutual energy currently is the Knight of Pentacles, a very slow moving night, very down to earth, very practical, very pleasant. You know, somebody who's very organized and detail oriented in their thinking. They're the problem solvers of the universe. So whatever it is that's coming into the relationship that needs solving, you have the ability to do it. In terms of how your person views the situation currently, they're trying to stay cool, calm, and collected while both of you close out one chapter to begin another with one another. All right, so let's see what we have in terms of how they view you. How does this person view Sagittarius? How do they view Sagittarius? What's going on with this person and their view of Sagittarius? Let's see. We have Six of Wands, victory. They see you as victorious. They see you as a person who very much um, is very successful. They see you as a winner. They see you as someone they would love to take and introduce to their friends. So Six of Wands energy, again, strong Leo energy here with Virgo. Um, the King of Swords is Aquarius. And what was our, yeah, the World card is Aquarius also. And Saturn. Whoops, a daisy. Okay, how do they feel in their heart space? It's a lot of cards. The Queen of Swords are trying to stay logical. Wow. Okay, so Sagittarius, I don't know what's going on with your person, but there are a lot of cards here. Queen of Swords, they're trying to stay cool, calm, and collected. Now we have the King of Swords over here. They're trying to stay logical. The Emperor card says that they are using their ability to manage people, places, and things to deal with a loss in their lives that they don't fully understand and may not have revealed to you. So the moon card is here. Now that's how they feel in their heart space about you. So it does speak to the fact that this may be a long-term relationship in which they feel very, they feel very wounded. They're trying to keep calm. They're trying to stay in control. Interesting energy though. It's almost like your person can't let go of you, but you seem to be in a different place with this, but we'll see. Okay, so how do they view the situation with you going forward, Sagittarius? How do they see the situation going forward? This is a person who looks so wounded. Eight of Cups, wow. They view somebody leaving in this relationship and it looks by all looks of it it would be more likely to be them than you because of an unhappiness so we'll clarify everything though so interesting okay so they think they're going to close out a cycle seven of pentacles is a hidden energy it says that you both are invested currently seven of pentacles energy is taurus energy okay you might have been in this with this person for a long time also 
look at this. Spirit is advising to stay very loving and very spiritual in your love for one another. The star card, don't give up. Don't give up, that's hopes and dreams for love coming true. So we're gonna have to see, maybe you had a fight. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. What's the outcome at this time, short term for Sages? Queen of Pentacles energy, that's all about just taking care of business. It's, you know, day-to-day -day work. So whatever you're doing with this person, it looks like on the mundane level, on day-to-day -day life, practical matters, if you live together, you know, everything's getting done. The chores are getting done, the bills are being paid. You know, everything that has to get done is being done. Now, for those of you who are not in a live-in relationship, it does look like your outcome card is the Fool card, which is a new beginning. It looks like the Lover's card. You need to make a choice with each other. And the Ten of Cups is great happiness. And the King of Pentacles is coming out as Taurus energy, manifestation of your relationship. So I can read this as your relationship going through temporary problems or your person experiencing that. For those of you who are caught in a situation in which, I wouldn't say third party, but your person, we're going to clarify these cards, but your person in their, in their heart space looks as though they're really wounded, and those wounds may have to do with a boss. This can be a boss. They may have to do with uh, some sort of emotional issue that they're dealing with currently. Could even have to do with like a mother figure, a feminine figure who has hurt them dramatically in their lives, or somebody who they're close to. Could even be a sister, could be anyone. But let's see, I want to clarify the cards with how they feel about you and their heart space and why those cards are here. Because it looks as though they feel very wounded. They feel as though they're not happy in this relationship. And the walking away card, and it can be vice versa. But it is, it's strange because theirs is the only area of the reading with unhappiness, okay? So I'm going to pull these cards out to clarify them because they fell out in a clump. So we're going to clarify the moon card first. What is hidden? What is hidden? What is hidden? What is hidden? I'm going to go ahead and hit the table shot for you. What is hidden in this relationship? We have the Ace of Wands. Okay. So it does look like there may have been some sort of denial of a physical nature in the relationship. There could be a sense of loss that your person is having, Sag. The Queen of Swords energy. So we're getting the Ten of Swords is clarified by the Ace of Wands, okay? So to me, that would be feeling rejected physically, passionately rejected. When we clarify the Queen of Swords, they may have felt that you, Sag, were behaving as a Queen of Swords when they wanted romance. We see that the Emperor card, this is a female Emperor who's very much boss, bossy. They feel that you might be bigger than, than them in the relationship. Your person is feeling very dejected, very lonely. This could be as simple as you turning them down physically for love making. It could be that this could be a continued problem. It could even indicate that this person's having some sort of physical ailment of some sort. But here, yeah, the Hermit card, they feel really lonely. So that is really problematic. Their loneliness about the romantic aspects of your relationship are making them feel as though they want to leave. So let's go ahead and clarify the Eight of Cups. Sag, what's going on here? The two of you really love each other. Look at all these beautiful outcome cards. Soulmates. Well, sometimes people are very sensitive. And that's an area where people are sensitive. Look at that strength card. That's the infinity symbol again. Why is the strength card here? You know that your person, you both are pretty telepathic with each other. Both of you need to spice up the relationship. And it looks like your person is really struggling with that. 
it looks as though the relationship has been very long term. It looks as though you're really good in the state of marriage or living together or doing whatever. But I'm getting that your partner doesn't feel like you're as invested as they are. They do feel as though your worldly worth, what you bring to the table, the kind of income that you have, they're just feeling as though you're there, you're more than they are. They are less than you are. They're having some difficulty with that. Why do we have the Leo card here, the strength card twice? I'm gonna clarify it just once. Seven of Swords. So in many ways, both of you do not feel the same. The strength card says it to the outside world. Both of you feel very dedicated. To the outside world, you look dedicated, but it looks as though for one person, that's not quite where they are in the relationship. It does look like it's the other, not you, Sag, but it can always be vice versa. The Three of Wands, where is that? Yep, Three of Wands is clarifying. Everyday life needs a little spicing up. It does show that both of you feel as though you'll be with one another forever. Well, relationships go through phases, right? Why is the world card here? But it does show that you should um, have more fun. A little ticky torch, a little starry night, a little backyard romance, you know, getting ready. That's a practical part of the day. And your person really wants to work that into your daily life instead of all work and no play. So why do we have the King of Swords energy here? Your person is feeling very much that you operate like a single person. Again, they, they actually think that you would like to leave them. Your person feels as though maybe you aren't so in love with them anymore. Your person feels as though they're feeling very um, uncomfortable that you might have a love interest somewhere else. You know, whether it's true or not is quite another matter. It doesn't really necessarily show up as that at all but I'm getting that you may be dealing with that energy, yep. See, so your person just thinks that you don't want them, that you may walk away from them. Why do we have the Five of Swords here as a clarifier? Yeah, they, both of you feel really lucky to have each other, but there's this feeling that luck might be running out. Your person's really going through a rough time, Sag. That's what it looks like. They're going through a rough time, it could be they could have job losses and other things that are closing in on them. And so I see your person as really struggling, you know. They could have nothing to do with you. It could take very little for you to rebuff them and to not realize that they were taking it to heart so much. This Ten of Swords card is so tough. But your outcome is beautiful. It looks like the two of you will find answers with the Queen of Pentacles, which is the mommy card. You truly love each other, the Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, you know. The Ten of Cups is happily ever after, really loving one another. The Fool card says, like, basically a new beginning for the two of you. I would say you need a honeymoon. <laughs> you need some time to be lovers. You know, sometimes life just takes off. But look at this. You are a divine couple. You have the queen and king of pentacles. So I think all's well that ends well here. But I would say that there's some um, energy that needs addressing. And it's kind of all work and no play. You know, and your partner looks as though they're not telling you how upset they are about this. So let's look and see what the um, moon, the queen of the moon oracle has to, for advice. Well, you have an abundant life. So that's great. I like abundance, right? So that's what the energy is in your relationship. An abundance of love and peacefulness. So maybe, you know, what I'm seeing here is maybe you're too abundant and too peaceful. And let's see what the advice is. You need to remember to go back to the honeymoon days is what it looks like. You need that starry nights and surfboards and tiki torches. You need more romance in this relationship. Okay, so what is the shaman dream oracle have to say about this? 
What's the advice? The fates, interesting. So something is going on in your life in this area of the reading that I see. It's just part of life, you know, as the beat goes on sort of thing. So I think this is just a, a period of time in which you've had trouble or your partner has. Let's see. Empty well time to replenish again. You know, it would really be about moving out of this very practical, down to earth, are all the chores done, is a checklist done to having some fun, okay? So that's what the relationship is really calling on right now. That's what you need to do. We'll get one more card here. One more card. Let's see what we have before we... Fools embrace, again, a new journey, and you still have new things to learn about each other. Sending you love. Bye-bye. Take care. Hope to see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.